Good morning, everybody, and good evening from uh, Dakar in Bangladesh. I'm very, very pleased to have with us today um, Nathan Ellis, uh, of course, uh, becoming the first person in history to score a hat trick on a T20 debut. Thanks, Cole. Um, hi, Nathan. Can you hear me there? Okay. Yeah, yeah, all good. Yeah. yeah. Um, can you just talk us through that that last over and the emotions that you were that you were going through? Uh, it's all gone. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. I think I was uh, sort of going at 100 miles per hour for the whole 20 overs. So, um, yeah, it was just sort of surreal, sort of a surreal moment that's sort of come and gone really, really fast. So. Um, yeah, so to, to sort of come out the other end of it with a hat trick, I mean, it's not something I sort of planned to happen or thought about happening, but um, yeah, pretty amazing and, and something I'll uh, cherish forever. What was it like being clap, clapped off by Mitchell Stark, who'd presented you your cap just an hour and a half previously? Yeah, again, surreal. I, I mean, you know, this whole tour has sort of been a bit of a surreal um yeah, a surreal moment, a surreal experience for me. I'm, you know, I'm sort of mixing it with a lot of the guys that I've looked up to for a long time and and sort of tried to emulate um, throughout my career so far. So, um, yeah, it's just another sort of memory or another moment that I look back on pretty fondly. Um, yeah. So. Does it all feel it's happened in quite a rush for you? I mean, you've effectively had probably two full good seasons uh, with Hobart and with Tassie, and now you're playing for Australia does it feel as though it's all come quite quickly yeah absolutely when I sort of look back I feel like the time's gone really really quick and 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 again it's sort of a bit of a blur but in the same breath I'm sort of taking it um a day at a time um massive cliche I know but that's sort of been my my mentality my mantra sort of coming um not on contract to being contracted and, and all this sort of happening really fast. I sort of just try to take it in my stride and take it a day at a time and, and, and not let the moment pass without sort of trying to soak it in as much as possible. Thanks, Nathan. Well bold. Uh, cheers. Thank you. Adrian Warren. Yes, I'm off mute this time. Uh, Nathan, congratulations <laughs> on your on your performance there. Terrific to see. I mean, did, did you kind of feel any nerves at all there? Because obviously your fourth over was spot on, but you, what did you think of your first three overs? Yeah, it was, I mean, you talk about nerves. I probably wasn't nervous for any specific balls. I was probably nervous for the last 24 hours, I think, once I knew I was playing. And and it's a sort of a long day as, as we sort of wait till game time in the evening. So, um, yeah, quite a nervous time. Um, but outside of that, I sort of, in hindsight, I feel like I may have, you know, rushed my way through a little bit with the beans flowing and sort of feeling like my mind's going 100 mile per hour. But, um yeah, it wasn't like I was scared or, or scared to bowl any sort of ball or anything like that. It was sort of something you plan for and you and, and we think about for, you know, the seven, six, seven weeks we've been on tour. So, um, yeah, just a really cool, really cool moment. No, terrific. And uh, what, what about batting-wise? It seemed like you guys had a slight different approach, keeping wickets in hand there for the second half of the innings. Yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, on these wickets... Wicket, uh, wickets in hand is key. I think um, we're quite a young, a young bunch, and um, myself included. I've never ex really experienced subcontinental wickets, so sort of learning on the run, but also trying to, you know, um, see what works for us individually as players. Um, I think uh, Mitch Marsh has, has set the tone and um, the blueprint for for what we're trying to do, and um, it's one of those things we're sort of we're really, really close to to being on the on the better side of the result. Um, again, not you know, not the way it went tonight, but as I said, it's, it's, it feels like we're really, really close. So two games to go now, and hopefully we can um, end the series 3-2. I mean, their bowl is obviously pretty good on these type of wickets. They've got a fair bit of experience. There is, is there anything that you guys could have done differently? Or where do you think it just, just went wrong in those last half dozen overs? Yeah, I think you're right. We say, you know, it's, it's naturally where they've grown up and the wickets they're used to. So naturally they're going to be... Um, you know, tactically more prepared, I'd say, is probably the best way to put it. Um, and that's taking nothing away. I, I think they've bowled really, really well throughout the whole tour and, and used the facilities and the and the wickets to their advantage. So for now, it's us to, you know, go back on our plans, have a look um, where we can improve. And as I said, you know, take every match as an experience. We're a young side, um, just sort of taking every game every game as it comes and trying to take what we can from it.
Uh, Thanks, Major. We've got a pretty yeah, poor, no worries. Uh, internet. We've got a pretty poor internet connection here. Sorry, guys. We might just go to Mel Farrell and then um, we might finish up. Uh, hey there, Nathan. Congratulations. Um, just, just wondering, what has this tour actually been like for you? You know, what have you been doing? Has anyone taken you under their wing? Uh, and and did you actually think that you would get an opportunity to play? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's one of those things. I didn't I didn't plan to be on this tour. I mean, I, I tried and I, and I had it, you know, in the calendar. There was a goal of mine to try and get on this tour. But um, yeah, I'm under no illusions um, to the fact that it's taken a, a global pandemic and some and, and some boys who have spent a lot of time in bubbles and quarantine. Um, to need a break for me to get here um, so I've sort of taken that that mantra is you know I've, I've been really lucky to get an opportunity here at the expense of some guys who, who needed a break so sort of take each day as it comes and as I said it's a filthy cliche but there's so many experienced guys here both coaches and players that you know have been there and done it um, so sort of just trying to be a sponge for for every net session um, every game every planning meeting um, to sort of soak it up and uh you know if i wasn't get to play a game i would have some good brand new training kit that i can um show off back home <laughs> and what did mitch stark say to you did he have any particular words of wisdom it was really uh you know it was something i'll never forget really he um i'm from new south wales originally um so he sort of spoke a little bit about my journey sort of having to make um the move away from my family and friends down to tassie and um, just little things like that, but he really emphasised um, sort of me just trying to soak it up and enjoy it. Um, easier said than done, but stay calm and, and, and sort of um, just back myself, which is, you know, what we're all trying to do. As I said, it's easier said than done in the moment, but yeah, it was really, um, really, really cool to have Starkey present my cap. And again, it'll be something that I won't forget anytime soon. Last and one, Mel. Yeah, um, what what was going through your mind before you bowled that hat trick ball? What were you trying to do? Uh, not get hit for six. <laughs> That's probably the the first point of call. Um, but yeah, I think I, I'm sort of just as I said, I, I'm my first time bowling a sub subcontinental wicket, so I'm sort of learning on the run a little bit and um, just sort of find what works for me, um, and then setting my fields accordingly and trying to get hit to the to the fielders. So. Um, for me, it was pretty simple. It was, yeah, bowl to my field and hopefully it goes my way, which it, thankfully it did. <laughs> Great. Well done. Thank you. Thanks, Mel, and thanks, everyone, and uh, congratulations to uh, Nathan Ellis. We'll, uh, we'll catch up with you guys after tomorrow's game. Cheers. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Nathan. Thanks, guys. Thank you.